everyone. It is Monday evening. It's almost six o'clock. I got done feeding the boys their dinner just a little while ago, and I need to fill up my um, containers over here. They have all the different dog foods and kitty foods. So I thought I would share what the boys eat because we have a lot of new, hold on guys, I gotta shut something. Um, we have a lot of new subscribers and I get a lot of messages and questions in the comments about what the boys eat. Um, as you can see here, I have three different types of food. These are all prescription foods. Um, you cannot buy these without a prescription from your vet. Um, before all the boys were on prescription foods, I fed them the Blue Buffalo Healthy Weight Formula because schnauzers are prone to pancreatitis. Three of my boys, I believe three of them, have had a pancreatitis attack in the past. So that led me um, to feed a low-fat diet, low-fat treats. Um, so um, after I think... It was either Mozzie or Grant. I can't remember. Might have been Mozzie. Uh, when he had a pink, his last pancreatitis attack, not his last, it was his only one. When he had one, um, they suggested he eat this um, low fat, uh, it's by Hills Prescription Diet, low fat ID formula. And I thought, I fed him that for a while. And that, uh, that's right. And then I think Grant had a pancreatitis attack. And I thought, why am I just not feeding all my boys this? So talked to the vet, they agreed. So I started feeding all the boys this digestive care, low fat ID. Uh, Miggy, two years ago, uh, we thought he had a mass in, on his bladder wall. Um, thought he needed to, well, he went and got prepped for surgery. When they did the scan, uh, the surgeon did a, I don't know if it was a CAT scan, MRI before the surgery, found that whatever was there was, there was gone, and they assumed maybe it was struvite crystals in his bladder. Um, so ever since then, he's had to eat the urinary SO moderate calorie uh, by Royal Canaan. So uh, moderate calorie because this was the lowest fat um, in the urinary formula that we could find uh, to keep the, the fat content down for him. So um, so he started eating that uh, due to that issue, the crystals. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then Grant just had his latest, latest bout with a gastrical intestinal issue. So I talked with the vet and we decided to be good for him because he's going to be 15 in March and older dogs can have um, intestinal issues as they get older. So he is now eating the Royal Canaan gastrointestinal low fat formula. So all the boys eat a prescription food. It's not cheap. <laughs> it is not cheap at all. Um, yeah, so they're all on prescription foods. Just two of them are on a different food than the others. So one eats this one. I have seven dogs. One eats this. One eats this. And then all the other five eat this one. So that's what I feed my boys. I got out what I feed the kitties to in case anybody's interested. I have two kitties. Uh, one recently had found out he has a stage two kidney disease. Um, he also had had another urinary issue. Um, and that's how we found out about the kidney disease when they did some tests. So he is now eating kidney care by Hill's prescription diet. Um, and then my other kitty, the younger kitty, Merlin, he just eats Purina One urinary tract health formula. And this is what uh, my kitty with the kidney issues was eating as well because he had a surgery back when he was younger um, because he was having crystal problems. So I figured when we got Merlin, after he ate his kitten food for a year, we just decided to put him on this urinary tract formula food. And he's been doing great on it. No problems with crystals because male cats have problems with crystals. Um, this is not a prescription food. 
this is a prescription food. So that's what the kitties eat. So eight of my nine animals are all on <laughs> prescription food. And like I said, it is not cheap. Uh, but I buy it on Chewy.com. It is cheaper to get it through there um, instead of your vet. Um, and especially if you have it on auto shipment, you can even save more. So, um, yeah, that is what the boys eat. Okay, I wanted to also say a thank you. I got a package in the mail. Let me get this food filled up in their containers over here. If you can see, I have one that says dog food. That's for the five who just eat the low fat. Then I have Miggy's food, Grant's food, Kitten's food. Kitten is my older kitty with the kidney issues. Uh, his name is Truman, but he doesn't know his name. We just call him Kitten. And then the cat food is Merlin's, because uh, this is where I had both of the cat's food at one time. And then I have kitty treats in here because Merlin learned how to stick his paw under here. This is where I used to keep them and open this up and ate a whole bag of treats one night. Oh yeah, while I was in bed. So <laughs> we have to keep the, the kitty treats in a container. So I'm gonna fill these up. And then um, the food that the five of the boys eat, I also fill this up uh, since I go through it faster. So I need to put a big bag in there and then I just fill it in these this container here uh, to use during the week. So let me fill this all up and then I wanna share a package I got in the mail. Okay, we got all the containers filled with food. <laughs> I went to feed them dinner tonight and I didn't have enough food and grants and I knew that I needed to fill them today and I totally procrastinated and then totally forgot. So when I was going to feed them, I didn't have an, enough food for grants. So I had to hurry up and go get the food, fill it up. And of course the boys had a fit because they were like, come on, it's time to eat. Where are you going? What's going on? Get our food. <laughs> So anyways, I wanted to make sure that I made clear when I was talking about Miggy, when we thought he had a mass on his bladder wall. I don't know if I, if I mentioned he, he never ended up having to have the surgery. I think I mentioned that they had done another CAT scan before the surgery and found that there was nothing in there anymore. Um, there was no mass or anything they could see. So I just want to make sure um, I did... Um, explain well enough that he never ended up having to have the surgery and he's had no problems since um, that time and that was I think about two years ago now and he's been eating this ever since and he's had no problem with crystals stones anything so just wanted to make that clear also wanted to mention um, for viewers that have been watching for a while you remember in December my dryer broke well and I mentioned it a couple times because I was so frustrated about it as you can see that my dryer's going. Um, after waiting on a repairman to come four different times to try to fix my dryer, the company finally relented and replaced my dryer and I have a new dryer now. And I, so now I can do laundry at home again. I don't have to wash it and drag it to my mother-in-law's to dry anymore. <laughs> so happy about that. Okay, so I wanted to thank Karen. Actually, Karen, let me get the little note here. Karen Rags Mittens and Bubba for this gift here. She said, sorry, it was so late. She was waiting on one of the gifts to come in. I think she said from the UK, if I remember right. Um, she didn't realize they were having a postal strike there. So, and I'm thinking it's this one right here. She had it made. I believe she had this made. I, I'm not for sure, but I think so. And it was coming from the UK. It took forever to get to her to send to me. So, um, we finally got it, Karen, and I love it. I wear beanies all the time in the winter, and I love it. Let me see if I can. Here we go. The Chanel's are on there embroidered. It is so cute. I absolutely love it. And then she also sent these cute little Chanel's or Christmas socks. So cute. And, of course, some doggy treats for the boys. So, thank you so much, Karen. I got it actually last week i just haven't made a video since i got it so um thank you so much for sending that to us um okay oh i also want to let natalie natalie who has uh a schnauzer name walter i don't know if i should say the last name or not she'll know who i'm talking about he won one of our i think it was our first giveaway we ever had uh walter won um your card got sent back to me your christmas card got sent to me so somehow i wrote your address wrong 
And I don't know how I did because I know your return address, because I've gotten mail from you a couple times, has a cute little return address label with a schnauzer on it. And it's printed out nice, so I don't know how I wrote the address wrong, why it came back. So I'm going to type my email address here. Um, if you could email me your address so I could um, resend that Christmas card to you. I feel horrible. It's the only one I've gotten back. Hopefully no more come back. Um, but I want to get that Christmas card sent back out to you. I know Christmas is long over, but <laughs> I feel horrible that it came back that I, I must have wrote the address wrong. So, um, yeah, if you could send that to me, I'd appreciate it. I want to let you guys know, too, I'm going to be reviewing this product I have sitting here um, probably this week. It's a dehydrator made by London Sunshine. They asked if I'd like if I would like to try it out and share with uh my subscribers and they gave me a discount code as well. So I'm gonna try this out because my dehydrator that I used to dehydrate and make chicken jerky and different things for the boys died. It was a thrift store find. I think I found it for like just like five bucks, I think. It ended up finally dying on me. So I'm gonna try this out for you guys this week and make the boys some treats. So Stay tuned for that video. Should be up this week. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. Um, get all this food put away, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.